Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. This video is in response to a few comments that I've had about this brake master cylinder. A few people have said that this lever here that actuates the brakes that pushes the piston up here should be in line with this uh, cylinder itself so this arm here should be completely in line otherwise it won't actually push the piston now clearly it does push the piston but I do tend to agree if that was a regular brake master cylinder because I've got one of those here on the floor and you can see here that this rod here is in line with the piston although well, there, there's some kind of ball assembly inside it's just to take up any small deviation between the two it isn't intended to be used at an extreme angle and you would have to mount that pretty much in line but i didn't want that because in my setup it would mean the brake piston is the brake calipers at an angle like that piston caliper yeah there's a piston in here isn't it the master cylinder and the piston would be at an angle and i wanted it to be in line with the down tube in line with the oil tank in line with this copper pipe in line with the cylinder you know looking like it's supposed to be there so i opted to buy spot the difference now this is a standard master cylinder where the everything is just more or less in line with a little bit of a ball joint on the end somewhere this one has got this lever across there. So when I activate the piston, even if this was completely in line, it would still run through a small arc there because this isn't connected directly to the piston, it's connected to this arm. And you can see that that arm swings and pivots. And that is especially designed to activate from an angled um, push rod so that that's how it's supposed to work now this angle here is just a bit less than 90 degrees and as the brake is pressed it's approaching 90 degrees because at 90 degrees that's when you get the maximum force so the force as you put the brake on with your foot increases and again here this is just a bit larger than 90 degrees between that angle that lever there and this here and as you push the brake on it approaches 90 degrees so i don't think it's going to be a problem obviously when i test ride it when it's full of fluid um we'll find out but i don't think that's going to be a problem but they're probably not apparent when you're doing a video from up here and you're only pressing the brake once or twice uh, as to what's actually going on and the other comment that we've had has been around the brake fluid getting too hot and boiling well this is the cool side because the inlet manifold is here and the exhaust is on the other side of the cylinder there will be some radiated heat but there's quite a bit of distance between there and there the cooling air is coming from the front so i don't think that's going to be a problem either of course this pipe is a little bit closer to the cylinder to the fins themselves but if i do have a problem with boiling brake fluid i think i've also got a problem with an overheating engine generally brake fluid tends to boil when people drag the brakes all the way down the Alpine Mountain Pass and the brake pads get very, very hot and the brake caliper gets very, very hot and the piston uh, gets very, very hot and the brake fluid boils from this end rather than from this end. Uh, I know somebody had this similar setup in a race bike, but this isn't a race bike. It won't be running as hot. It certainly won't be leaning over as far in the bends. Uh, it should be just chuffing along to the next custom bike show. So hopefully that sort of allays a few concerns or at least answers a couple of questions. But if you still think I've got it all wrong, by all means, tell me in the comments. Uh, talking of bike shows, there is a rumour that we might be making an appearance at the Sammy Miller Kickback Show on the 7th of September. Now, I could neither confirm nor deny those rumours, but... Um, the thing about rumours is they do turn out occasionally to be true. So if you do want to see In the Metal, you might be able to see that at the Sammy Miller Kickback Show uh, on the 7th of September. Uh, you might, you might not. I'll update you on that. Other news over there. I'll just teleport over there. 
to my ever-growing pile of stainless and bends is I got fed up waiting for bends so I went to a really helpful place in Nuneaton uh, that owns the patent for Cherry Bomb. They make custom exhausts for cars and they let me rummage through their scrap bin and measure some bends and I got most of the bends if not all of the bends that I need. They're also very helpful in giving me some flared ends that make a lovely ringing noise. It's like give us a clue. The next word is felch um, and some of the bits and bats. So uh, I made mine Scotty has sorted out the missing part on my welder, uh, which is over there, the welder. So I can put my uh, stainless uh, reel on there now and then get cracking. I'm away this weekend on holiday, but that's OK. There's plenty of time left after that to do a bit of welding and tinkering. So hopefully that answers the questions, lets you know where I'm at. And uh, and that's the start of the weekend, Friday night. Woohoo! So as usual, thank you for watching. More updates will follow.